Another therapy you use is uh, using insulin to target cancer. IPT is what it's, what no, it's called. No, insulin is, is a very interesting, the most important hormone in your body is, is insulin. There's no question in my mind because it controls metabolism, okay? Now, when you become insulin resistant, then you have disease. Uh, but but that's, that's something we know about insulin. What uh, uh, Donato Perez Garcia was a, um, a military, um, some kind of officer in the Mexican uh, army in the 1920s, and that he's the one that took insulin when he was first discovered, he used it to treat chronic infections like syphilis. And the first study that I know of was in Austin, Texas, in my, in my state. And of course, in 19, 1947, he used it for the first time to treat cancer. Now, how does the insulin work? It's, it works like a Trojan horse. You take a normal person, he's usually a, a normal sugar around 95 plus, you know, when you're fasting. And so when that happens, you know, metabolism moves on and think good things happen. And then now when you give a short-term insulin, Humalog is a short-term insulin, you drop the sugar to mid-40s. At that moment, the cancer cells are wide awake, they want to eat, the, the healthy cells kind of are asleep, if you will. Uh, one study showed that when you give the insulin, and then when you think the therapeutic moment is when it's in mid-40s, uh, the sugar is in mid-40s, it's called a therapeutic moment. At that moment, you can take 10% of the dose, usually, of the chemotherapy dose. So let's say if it's 1,000 milligrams, 10% of it, you know, would be 100 milligrams. So, so you say, well, so you give that, that's going to end up, 99% of it, one study shows, ends up inside the cancer cells because the cancer cells have 16 times the receptor sites of, for insulin. The receptor site is nothing more than a gate that allows things to get in and out of the cell, and insulin controls that gate. Now, so the cancer cells, they want to eat 24-7. People die from cachexia. They don't die from cancer. So the cancer eats you up completely to your skin and bones. So what, what happens here when you give the insulin and you fool the cancer cells to eat, you know, there's plenty of food for you, okay? And then you give the, the chemotherapy agent, ends up inside the cancer cell, and then kills, it's a Trojan horse theory, it kills the, the cancer cells and leaves the good cells alone. So it's a efficacious. The efficacy is wonderful. The side effects are minimal or none. I mean, you do have some side effects. Maybe 10 to 15% of the people, you may drop the white cells and the red cells for a short time. You withhold the treatment and it goes back to normal. And I've been doing this now for 15 plus years. And I can tell you that is, I, we never had any major issues. Minor issues, you all have. If you do any kind of medicine, you're going to have some minor issues. But no major issues, no hospitalizations, no deaths that I have seen. There are roughly 300 physicians worldwide doing this kind of work. And we meet once a year, we talk about this. And the question is, how many people went to the hospital? How many people died because of what you're doing? So far, everybody reports zero hospitalizations and zero deaths. I think it's a good tra track record. Yeah. Hi, and thanks for watching this video. If you like that video and you like our channel, the best thing you can do is support us with a Patreon donation. You can find the link here on the right. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Again, that link here on the right. While you're at it, be sure to check out some of our more recent videos as well. You can find those right below. Thanks again for watching.